He knows how to cut. We know how not to. Experience movies the way they were meant to be seen. Uncut and commercial free. Only on Turner Classic Movies. Yes, there are thousands in our family. Their work is an integral part of what will be the best picture of the year and of every picture of every year. The award that is about to be given then is a tribute to each and every one of them. The best motion picture is... Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Next up in our 31 Days of Oscar celebration, we begin a marathon of movies with celebrated actors giving performances which brought them nominations in Oscar's Best Supporting Actor category. And we start with a movie that made Robert Mitchum a star at age 27 and earned Mitchum the only Academy Award nomination he received during his long career. The movie is the story of G.I. Joe, independently produced by Lester Cowan and released by United Artists in July of 1945, just a few weeks before the official end of World War II. And no less than Dwight D. Eisenhower called this movie the greatest war movie ever made. It's also one of the most moving because of the way it takes a very intimate, up-close look at men soldiering along day after day, fighting not just the enemy, but their own boredom and fears. Now, the film is based on the work of the famed World War II correspondent Ernie Pyle, in particular the events he witnessed during his travels with an army unit through war-torn Italy. Pyle was both famous and much admired by the public for the way through his words and in news reports he was able to convey what it was like to be a soldier in wartime. Burgess Meredith plays Pyle in the film and he was able to be cast only because he was placed on special leave by the military since he himself was on active military duty at the time. And he was surrounded by the real thing as well. Many of those playing soldiers in this movie were actual military men, members of the infantry who had served in the Italian campaign and were back in the States at the time training for duty in the Pacific. And shortly after completing work on this film, those soldiers were sent to active duty where a large number of their, them lost their lives. Even the legendary Ernie Pyle lost his life. He was killed in the Pacific, shot by a Japanese machine gunner on the island of Ishima three months before this film was released. Here from 1945, directed by William Wellman with Bob Mitchum giving an Oscar-nominated performance as an Army lieutenant named Walker. We bring you the story of G.I. Joe. <laughs> 